Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, where so far we've taken the entirety of North America, Venezuela, and we are beginning to move through the Middle East. Nothing can stop us. Uh, did we, are we justifying world goals against Iran? No, we aren't, but we are going to be because we decided we want to connect the two great sides of our country. Uh... Vuperia over here in Afghanistan and Vuperia over here in Saudi Arabia. We want to connect them up. Oh, was I declaring a war goal on Qatar? No, but I do have military access there for some reason. Huh. 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 Interesting. Looks like I have another place to invade. I thought I took Qatar. No, I took over here. I took the UAE. They're next on the list, aren't they? When it comes to oil, because we've been taking over the oil trade. Uh, Russia. Oh, they're up there, but they're not very far up. Angola! Moving up. Wow. Also, Nigeria. I Okay, Iran we can take. Brazil's a big one, too. Uh, looks like these are actually changing over time, unless I'm not paying attention at all. Norway has a lot, too. Um, wrong map. So, Norway, yeah, Norway has a lot of oil supplies. But I feel like if we moved into a country like Norway, the world would definitely notice. We've been just squeaking by without anyone complaining. Okay, so, I don't really remember what we were doing last time. Um, I think we are going to declare war in Colombia? Yes. And we're actually about to do it. So, Colombia, we need to actually, like, make a plan against you, don't we? So, the Continental Army, which is on the wrong side. But that's okay. They're only on the wrong side because I had a plan that required them to be on that side. So we're going to move in that way from you guys. And then our small army, defending over here, are going to move in. What? Did you guys just disappear? What the heck? That's you guys. Okay. Fantastic. Your front line is literally here. I don't know why. Okay, now I can make an offensive line apparently. Oh, I selected the army, not the mini army. Great. Okay, that's fine. And then we make an offensive line here. So that either way we get the capital. Fantastic. Okay, we are all set, aren't we? I'm sending some more people down. But other than that, I think we even have the navy all set and everything. Ah, uh, not on this side. Quickly, get the ships, the new ships, the new 56 ships, get them a commander, and set them to search and destroy. They're going to... Man, we are really taking a lot of, uh, waters. All of our coasts are protected, which means, eh, except for way up here, but I'm not really worried about that. <clears throat> if someone ever tries to invade me, I will be worried about that, but not right now. Honestly, as long as we have the naval uh, advantage all around us, we don't have to worry about naval invasions. It's fantastic. It's nice not having to worry. R slash, that's how it works. <laughs> um, 413 days. 413 days. 413 days. 426 days. 435 days. We already finished that. We haven't finished this, but are there any ships that we really want? Oh. Oh, great. New frigate. New missile cruiser. New carrier. New submarine. Okay, so it looks like we're just going to completely overhaul our military. Ah, uh, the destroyers, we have to wait a while. Okay, new Corva. Actually, more naval invasion capacity. There we go, so we're going very heavy on the Navy for research. 
And we've got free dockyards. Lots of boat stuff right now. There we go. Fantastic. We are all set. So, as always, let's just quickly save... And let's do it, shall we? What could possibly go wrong? Looks like we have the advantage on both sides, or maybe not. These guys don't seem to believe they have the advantage. The enemy is stronger. That could be an issue, couldn't it? However, these guys are stronger, so if we could just push in from the back. Maybe we should uh get some backup. No... We should be fine. We have such a massive air force, too. We should be able to win. Where are all these people coming from? What are your ranges? Can I send you into... How many do we have here? 900? Do we have any that'll hold 900? Don't think so. Pretty sure we don't. Are there any? That's not bad. 400, we can move some over. You guys are going to be doing missions over here. Actually, I'm just going to assign you to an army. Probably makes more sense. You guys have lots of planes. You'll have more planes now. Fantastic. Where else are we going over here? Over here. Fantastic. You have even more planes now. And you guys are strategic bombers, and we need you guys here as well. Because I need to be able to drop nukes. I don't have air superiority. I'm pretty sure I do have air superiority. I'm 99.9% .9 sure. Okay, so, once again, we're going to save because I'm slightly nervous. When it says that they're stronger than us, that's a bad. And let's do this. They are instantly attacking, but we have a nuclear uh, advantage. We also have the advantage that we're going from two sides. And if we can break through the back, then we'll force them to do a little bit more. If we force them to reinforce the back, we can push harder in the front. That's the plan. Okay. So we have broken through the back, so they're sending people. Fantastic! Distraction has worked! The plan has been a success. We are crushing them from both sides. Although, our organization is really dropping. Uh, are we losing any divisions? No. We have serious supply issues, but it shouldn't be a serious su Oh no! The supply issues are fixed. Oh, fantastic. This is going to be easy. Honestly, they're going to collapse any second now. We're about to take their capital. Fall back. Allow the Vuperians to take your land. We are doing what is best for your people. You know what? I'm not going to... We're going to do a little bit of uh, two nukes, and we're going to rush from both sides for the capital. Okay, there we go. There we go. So, that should be a very clean invasion. Rather than losing a ton of men. Yeah, so we, we are coming out of this war with a massive advantage. Great. I, I don't want it to be like last time where it was really messy. Um, I want this to be a clear military victory for us. Because honestly, the last war was kind of an embarrassment. And we don't want the world to look at us like that. We want the world to look up to us. As a superior military. Superior government. Oh, there we go. That was, that was pretty easy, actually. Take all states. End turn done. That's it. Vuperia has been united. Which means that this little force here can be added into the 
Continental Army. The Continental Army is now bigger. Okay, so I don't know how angry the world would be if I took over Brazil. I'm assuming they'd be pretty angry, but you never know in this game. Let's just delete all the orders first. And then front line. Not draw front line here. Is that just like really thick rainforest? Is that why? I think that's why. There may be an issue. Apparently we can't move in from here. So that's kind of sad. But whatever, uh, let's fix everything we can. We've got a unit here that needs a division. There we go, or a division that needs a unit. Something, something needs a something. Now we've got an outdated frigate. Frigate 5, how exciting. New research, we can look at the Corvette. You know what? It's gonna be fine. There we go, it's time to start a war. I am slightly worried, I'm gonna be honest. Iran, it was nice knowing you. Okay, we're not gonna push yet. We're going to crush their armies first. Actually, we're just gonna push. Uh, you guys are a defense force. Okay, so we need to find where the most amount of their men are concentrated. So right here, this city. Right here. Right here. Over here, I think we have an advantage, so we're just going to hit them all with one. Just to shatter their line. If we can knock out their organization, we're fine. And we're actually going to do the same here. Like I said, I want to be really careful. I don't want this war to end with a high amount of Vuperian deaths. Okay, so that should have flipped everything green. We should now have a some movement we should be moving forward now which we are we shattered their biggest divisions and we have pushed it in our favor okay well after shattering their lines it looks like this won't be nearly as challenging anymore the forces comparison has now swung very quickly in our favor what <gasps> Russia's had a civil war! Oh, that was us, wasn't it? Oh my god, we did that. Oh, that's finally happened. Oh, fantastic. How are you doing? Why can't we... Oh, we need a national spirit to do that. Shoot, let's get that. Oh boy. We've done it. We've broken Russia. Holy moly. Hopefully they don't fall apart too quickly. How how much did we make Russia fascist? I guess we'll never... Oh, 10%? 10%, but these guys are 100%. So look at that. Russia is now undergoing a beautiful civil war that we have caused. We are now taking Iran to connect the two sides of our Middle Eastern state. some good work good good work and then we may get involved with this russian thing i'm not sure if i'm ready to go to war against russia though i mean they're in the middle of a civil war so it shouldn't be as hard to fight them but it looks like russia is very quickly winning it back there isn't really any competition here However, it's probably done a lot of damage to Russia, their politics, their resources for the time being. So hopefully we can summon off that when we do invade, we had a little bit of an effect. Uh, Iran is just falling apart. This two-front strategy and shattering their lines was very effective. I think we're starting to refine our war style. We did go for a Blitzkrieg style, but while mixing in nuclear weapons, 
makes it extremely effective. We can break their initial lines, and right here we can actually close them off if we're careful. If we're careful. Okay, maybe not. There we go. We split their country in half. We should be able to keep their ports from getting any supplies. There we go. And finally, these guys... Let's see. Wow. This may be our most successful military venture yet, with us only losing 39,000 men and them losing half a million. Holy moly. And now they are split off. Because they're split off now, we can't... Oh, are they actually moving up and around? Oh, they are sneaky. However, they're doomed. Because we can just cut them off there. And... We're going to just close the Iron Fist. Did we take their capital? Yes, we did. Now we close it. We take everything else of value to them. And our people are going to return back. We have a little bit of resistance. That's okay. It's to be expected when taking over a country. National focus. We need to get something where we can make factions. Let's see... We... Is there anything where we can make... Oh, we can make trade deals with the Philippines. The problem is it assumes we already have NATO, so I'm not sure how we can set it so that we can make factions. Oh, that's how we can make an alliance. So we could go to... Ooh... What if we went with Russia? You know what? Russia, hello! I, I know we were planning to invade you, but we may be better off if we don't do that and we instead use you. Yeah. We will be good friends. Because you will help us make a powerful faction. And then we will slowly take over the world. Great plan, 10 out of 10. Come on. They don't have much left. Although they did take the city back. End them! Honestly, they can't be that strong. We've kind of crushed everything they have. You guys need to go in. You guys need to go in. You guys are going in. They are certainly fighting back. I give them respect. Now you guys need to just push in. Take their major cities. And you guys need to defend what we've already taken. And push further. Oh, there's their new capital. Okay, we'll just take that. That works. That works too. Take the cities, take the capital, take everything of value. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Take all states. Done. Look at that. A huge chunk of the Middle East is now Vupirian. This deserves a new general to handle, which is what is now the European and Middle Eastern force. Ooh. Hill fighter. You know what? We'll go with him. And now we own a whole lot more land than I know what to do with. But we're actually going to put... 
our front line against Turkey, I think. Turkey, I don't know. Who's most likely to invade us? I think it's honestly Turkey because EU. They may do something. I'm not really worried about anyone else. Okay, we have a lot of military factories now, which are open. Thankfully, our massive supply uh, surplus It's going to help us out here, but we could use some more tanks. Could use some more. We already raised those. Anything else we really need more of? I mean, there's the new multi-rolls, but now we're starting to actually catch up to the demand. We have enough factories now. Okay, so... What can we do next? Uh, more really far-off technologies. Great. Ooh, how about industry? Really far away, okay. Uh... Planes. You're not super far away. We are really ahead of time. We are leading the world. 51%. That means that everyone can make factions again. But I don't think they will unless I actually declare war on them during it. I really don't know what determines if they're going to... Uh, make a faction or not. I think it depends on, like, if it'll actually benefit them and stuff. I don't know how the game decides that. I did check in the save. I do have factions enabled. I just turned off the starting ones. Okay, so the Middle East is being built up even further. Wow, we have quite the queue of things to build. Quite the queue. And then we'll just do the outer ones. For security's sake. Our national security is important. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, we also have free dockyards. And I think that it's time because we have more convoys than we will ever need. Yeah. Let's switch this to the Corvettes. So we aren't currently making any, are we? No. And now we are making Corvettes. Yay. Oh! Someone just declared war on Ukraine. Oh, there's a civil war. Huh, what kind of civil war? Reactionary. Things are starting to happen in the world. I don't know what to say. <laughs> The world is breaking. Things have been quiet, but they're starting to wake up. Oh, that civil war was lame. Lame. I started a civil war that took longer than that. Honestly, Transnitria take over Ukraine. That's my goal next time. Wait, is Kazakhstan helping? No. Okay, I got really confused for- They're actually fighting back! They're actually- Uh, they're still being pushed back, but they're- This is actually kind of even now. If we were to help them- Oh my god. That would be so amazing, taking over Russia. Maybe I should join China instead and take over Russia. People said don't mess with China. Nobody ever said don't mess with Russia. As long as it's not the winner. Can I switch? Oh, I don't think we can because we already did this with Japan. Okay, so it looks like we've either got Okay, so there's NATO, which isn't going to happen. It doesn't exist. We did that. 
strength and ties to Russia. I think we're going to have to become an ally. Of, we could become allies with Russia and then kick them out of the faction. You know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to cozy up to them and then we're going to kick them straight out. Uh, that's so mean, but it's okay. They will enjoy being a part of Vuperia. The great nation. Vuperia is just doing really well right now. I'm going to be honest. This is some good work by Vuperia. Um, no big military oofs. This is about to happen. Here we go. So I think next video we're going to focus on doing the stuff with Russia. This civil war is still taking place, though. Ooh, Russia is coming back from the back. But Greater Russia isn't doing a horrible job. Uh, I think I can actually start a lend lease, giving them old supplies. Our really old supplies. What are our old supplies? These. Okay, so we will send them a lot of supplies. Game, don't crash. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. We're just going to send them literally anything they could possibly need. So, as we do this... Wow, we have a lot of stuff we've stolen from other countries. Sorry about that. Okay, so I think that's good. I think that's everything we can really send over to them without feeling too bad. I mean, we can send them these. They're kind of low quality, but we can send them a lot of them. Okay, so we've sent them quite the lend lease. And now it's time to take over Brazil. So, the final offense. Okay, guys, let's do it. I'm ready. Let's go ahead, declare war on Brazil. This should be smooth, easy. Let's go ahead and start our armies. Okay, we've got superiority. Uh, what about air superiority, though? Not in that area. So let's go ahead and get it. We're going to continue using our strategy just because it works. We've got our strategic bomber wings here, and we're actually going to send them over here. We're also going to need some normal air wings, but that's fine. We can just make some. There we go. That's quite a few. And we'll also send in some UCAVs. There we go. Very nice. We'll set them to do everything they can to help in the war effort. And is there anywhere we can send them? <laughs> That's a great question. Over there. I mean, it's going to be kind of full, but whatever. Okay, well now there's going to be... Oh, jeez! Uh... What just happened? Okay, let's figure out what just happened. Oh, fantastic! We're at war with Germany and France now.